Hello everyone and welcome back. Let's go dig up a buried supply. I need to get a shovel though. Do I have one still? As many as I keep finding. And I haven't kept one of those. Are you serious? I have to make one of those things now? <laughs> oh man. Let's make a shovel real quick. What does it take? Plant fiber? I don't even have plant fiber on me, do I? Let's get the plant fiber. Stone shovel. Now I should have kept those three qualities. Okay, that'll be ready by the time we get back. This is pretty close by. Let's take our frame. Let's pick up any stone that we can find along the way. All right, we have arrived. I'm going to get my stone shovel on my belt. Do I have any points? I don't have any points. So let's start digging. All right, here we go. We found it. I'm going to get my blunderbuss. I'm going to crouch. Uh, I could probably just sell that for a little money. All right, here we go. Let's see if we can save some ammo and just stab these zombies. Oh, that was an Edgar right there. Let's go ahead and get him bleeding. So we got some stacks on her. She's dead. Well, our game stages are going to be unmanageable here before too long. We're not going to be able to keep up with the uh, difficulty based upon the weapons that we have lest we can get some better stuff here really soon okay well there's a cathedral we'll come back there later uh, I'd love to loot that right now but we simply don't have the game stage to do that and get anything worthwhile there's a wolf right there that's a big wolf it's not a dire wolf though is it I think that's a regular wolf what are they doing at the church over there Oh man, 172 brass and some glue. I am so glad I knew you had it in you. Good work. Oh yeah, look at that. 200 rounds. I was looking at the painkillers, but uh, I saw 9 mil, but 200 rounds of ammo. Now we just need a repair kit. Does she even have a repair kit? Not a repair kit. Repair kit. She doesn't have a repair kit. That's okay. That's pretty good. I'm going to sell this. And uh, the vending machine and everything, I know I keep looking at it, but I just want to make sure because I do have money. The eye candy, I'm buying that. I haven't, uh, up to this point, felt like I should buy that with uh, game stage being so low, but that does give you a pretty big boost. Maybe we come across a, a giant box or a safe or something. Okay, well, we have a couple options here. The buried supply is super close. That's going to get us to tier 2 if we do a few more of those. I'm a little fatigued with the buried supplies, but because it is so close and the fetch is 772, you know? I think I'll accept uh, that one. Oh, thank goodness. All right, let's go get this buried supply. Folks, there's a bear right there on top of that buried supply. It spawned in right as I rolled up on it. I think that's on purpose. I don't think I have the firepower to really kill that thing. Let's do this over here and be safe. I really want its meat. Let's see if we can't kill this bear. Oh, I didn't want him to do that. That's not good. There's so many zombies coming to life in here. Okay, we're reloaded. Bear is so powerful. If he gets me, I am done for. Oh, he almost did too. Oh my goodness, we got him. 
but not before we woke up all of the zombies in this. What is this? The Shamway Factory? Is that what this is? Sir, I really want to get the meat that I just earned. I need to get, uh, get a lead here on this guy. And I certainly don't want to have to fire this thing if I can help it. Because maybe all the zombies will calm down now that I'm not around there. I hear him still beating on that place, though. Oh! Oh, they're gonna be out. We, we gotta kill them, folks. We got no choice. Look at how many of them there are. Oh, they're out! They are all out. And they are angry. I, if I miss out on that bear, folks, I'm gonna be so disappointed. Oh, my good! There are like 20 zombies over there. I don't know how we're going to do this, folks. There are so many of them. There's no way. We, I don't have enough ammo or stamina or anything to kill all those zombies. Best I can hope is that I can fire and try to draw them all to me and get them away from that buried supply and make a loop around the block. That's all I can do, really. You know, that's all I can do. That's a whole lot. That's like a one. That's like a horde. Not a wandering horde. That's like a seven day horde over there. It's probably as many zombies as I'll get on the day seven horde. Okay, our bear is still here. We may be able to harvest this thing. And I also may be able to bear, dig up this uh, buried supply. Without them noticing me. This is going to be so tricky, folks. So tricky. With all of them right there, and I have to dig right there, we're going to have to kill Nurse Nancy. Let's just go ahead and deal with her. All right, she's dead. You know what I didn't do? I never made that padded hood, did I? I can make the padded hood and put the light on there now. I mean, I can see fine. I worry that you all may not be able to see. Something else I could do is if they start getting close, um, I could throw some rocks over there. But maybe we'll be all right just to dig right here. Uh, it's a good thing I don't have a helmet light anyway because I'd have probably turned it on and I'd draw them all over here to me. All right, we found it. Man, I was so nervous trying to dig this thing because I keep hearing footsteps. They keep getting closer and closer. There aren't many, but I cannot fire my weapon at this point. Right now, if I were to fire my weapon, there's so many zombies scattered out. We're also going to have to find a new way back home. We can't go that way. We're going to run into all those zombies. So let me get my pistol. Let me grab it. And let me go. Man, I really should put that uh, Mega Crush on my belt just in case we come across another bear. Let's try to do that quickly. Okay. Just in case I need to get out of here. Well, that was worst possible case scenario right there. What we just faced. Having 20 zombies and a bear. The location that we needed to go to. That was awful. <laughs> but we survived. Barely, but we survived. Uh, I think I'll put that away. You know, I'm starting to cut into this. I'm going to eat this chicken soup. I'm starting to cut into my meat supply. By a large amount. Okay, I think our mission now will be to get some water. And I see a swimming pool right up here. I do have a Mega Crush on my belt. If I needed to, I could pop that and we could get out of there if we had to. If things went south. Another bear or wolf horde, dog horde, something crazy. We'll just pop that mega crush in. Ski daddle. 
All right, we made it. We're going to scoop that up. And I think I'm going to chop down some trees. I'm going to try to be as quiet as I can here. But we need wood. I'd love to build a little shelter just to get off the streets if I could. So I think I'm going to do that right now. Well, that was pretty painful. Let's see if we can invest some more points into strength. 69er. And mother load. That'll help us with our harvest. Okay, it's 4 a.m. We got a little bit of wood. Not a lot, but probably enough that I could make something to get us up off the ground. I could just take someplace over. Uh, we could clear a house or, you know, what I'd love to do is go back over where all those zombies were at and kill some of them off. But I'm sure they've despawned by now. They're probably not there anymore. Uh, but that would be excellent. I need to sell that for 184 and 46. Give us a couple hundred more coins right there. Today is respawn day at the trader. So whenever we get to the point to where we uh, can turn things back in, I can uh, check the inventory and see what trader has. So three bacon and eggs. All right, folks. I got some water boiling. Uh, I got some bacon and eggs kick in here. So food situation's not looking quite as dire as it was before. But I'm going to go beat on a rock real quick, get some stone, and I'm going to take down another tree perhaps and start building some frames, some wood frames. I think this would be a great location. I can make 393. Let's make 100. And that'll be a start. And that'll get us up off the ground. So in case of wolf, bear, dog, horde, just wandering horde, whatever. Uh, they're not going to be able to just run up and, and destroy our stuff and me along with it. You know, I think I'm going to do this. Uh, I think I'm going to make these wood poles. And we're going to make a little pillar base. I was going to originally just do a box, but... You know, this box could easily be destroyed by a wandering horde, especially at nighttime when I can't just get down there and take care of them. I think this would be the smartest thing for us to do. And if you missed it, I, I have a video up the pillar pole base. And essentially, that's what I'm going to do right here. So I need to get my shovel. I need to dig this out. I'm going to split these up. Cannot forget to put my pain pills back on my belt right there. Right, we're going to upgrade this. All right, hopefully it made sense to you what I just did. I don't know if it even made sense to me what I just did, but it's going to be a little more durable than the standard just sticking some frames on the ground and, uh, you know, ha having it so that they can walk up to it and destroy it. It's not going to be a, a super large place, but it's going to be big enough to get done what we need to get done. And I can let a little overhang here on the edges like this. Like so, and that's one, two, three, four, and this is number five right here. So you still got your, you know, your five by five, like what I was going to do before, but we're off the ground safely, and it's going to take them a while to chew through those poles. And if the worst case scenario, a uh, horde comes along, uh, I could just simply jump down and defend it, you know, fire and run away, kind of like we did over at the Shamway factory.
Well, folks, I know it doesn't look like much, but it gets us off the ground. I feel a lot more secured now than just living out in the street. And what I'll do is I'll upgrade all of these. And I'll put some spikes around the bottom. And we'll probably be okay for a while in this little place. All right, well, there it is, folks. Uh, it doesn't look like much, but we're going to we're gonna move all of our stuff off of this thing and over into there in case we get whatever kind of horde to come along. And everything respawned today, so I can turn this quest in. Armor plating or antibiotics? Uh, before I turn this in, let me see if I have any antibiotics. If I don't have them, I'll take those. If I do have some, I could use that armor plating mod. I uh, don't see any antibiotics so we're gonna have to take those we're gonna have no choice because if we get an infection uh, I think that protects me up to 10% so that will keep us from dying from an infection wow, I didn't think you had it in you good job all right let's see what other job she has here another buried supply that's excellent and it's close uh, and that'll help build us up on our recipes and so forth and so on too so I have 1378 in my inventory. Is that all I I may I might have more in the chest over there. I'll have to go look and see. Let's see what else she has. Chemistry station. That would be excellent. Lamb rations. Pretty big uh, thing there, but it's kind of expensive. And we do have some meat now. There's some duct tape, some glue, bottle of acid. Let's see what's in the secret stash here. The great heist. 20% more damage to land claim property. Well, that doesn't do us any good. The wood splitter mod. I'm going to buy that. Lucky looter. A bit more. Find more food and loot. Okay, well, we absolutely need that. Okay, I don't see anything else other than that talk on motorcycle I'd love to have. A lot of food here. Rockbusters tempted to get that for the extra harvest. Let's get it. Okay, let me read this book. This episode was a little bit longer than uh, usual, but there was a lot to be done. We had to get that base going. That was very important. And now we're hungry. I'm going to stick that away. I'm going to eat some boiled meat and a bacon and eggs. Stick the murky water in there. Uh, we'll throw the rock buster away for now. I'll keep the mega crush just in case. You never know. Stick this in my inventory. And I guess that was all of our money, huh? No, oh, well, that's okay. We'll, we'll do this next quest. I'm going to stick this on to my stone axe. Pop this in there. Uh, I won't need this right yet. Maybe when things become a little more difficult, we'll use that. And the stone, let me go ahead and repair this. I'll leave the stone behind. And I'll leave the plant fiber behind also. Uh, I also need to repair this. So repair. Leave one for an extra repair. And I think I'm good. I don't even need these because my both the blunderbuss I have on my belt are uh, repaired uh, well. I, I could also sell the other schematics here. And let me do that before she closes. Folks, I'm going to run in here. I'm going to sell this. I thank you so much for watching. Uh, hope you have a wonderful day. Appreciate your support, and I'll see you all next time.